Well, hello there, guys. Your Grippa Max Senius here, coming at you with another Power and Revolution game. And I decided I'm gonna have to start a new game as my favorite, uh, well, I should say belligerent in this current war in uh, Iraq and Syria. Uh, and those are gonna be the Kurds. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to jump to the war in Syria and Iraq and play as the Kurds, guys. Now, of course, in this game, they don't give the exact correct name, but they call it the Syrian Kurdish Renaissance. And, of course, our main enemy is going to be ISIS. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take this guy, Kalal Muhammad. He's going to be our leader, and hopefully we can put up a good fight. Um, we'll soon see what our actual goal is as the Kurds, uh, but I think it's basically just going to be to try to get a good outcome by the end of the war here. And the only that could change later. Remember, the Kurds possibly pushing into Turkish territory, though I wouldn't recommend it. Two thousand sixteen promises to be a milestone year for the global conflict against the international Salafist terrorist organization that wants to establish a caliphate in the Middle East. Coalition forces, to which it is necessary to include Syria's regular armies and Iraq, represent around a million men in total, and facing them, the jihadists, are bolstered by one hundred thousand extremely mobile men who benefit from substantial financial resources and very efficient recruitment channels. Western countries, using prudence, have decided to not disembark troops on the ground and have opted for targeted and intense bombardments. In this complex situation, let us not forget the other forces that are participating in the combat. Other militia and jihadist terrorist groups, Syrian rebels who want to take power in the country, and Kurdish forces likely to recreate a large Kurdistan in the north. All right, guys, that's what we are trying to do is recreate Kurdistan. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and show you guys what our territory looks like. We don't own a lot. Kurdistan is a small area. So as you can see, we've got Afrin. We've got a few base camps over here. And over here in the north of the country, uh, here in Syria, we also have uh, quite a few base camps. Now, we're going to want to attack the enemy right now. But we've got to keep a few things in mind. One of the most important things is the fact that actually we might have to eventually declare war on the Syrian government anyway because right now Bashar al-Assad is not exactly our friend but we are fighting with him to liberate the country from ISIS so I'm gonna go ahead and send some groups right away into Harem this is a city um, wait a minute I don't like that one bit if we're fighting ISIS that might be a different country okay let me not do that so let's actually take a look over here and we might just uh, attack Raqqa. I believe this is Raqqa. Let's take a look. It's actually Mosul. Um, and obviously taking Mosul would be a huge victory. Now I'm going to try to go for it, but this is not going to be easy by any means whatsoever. So let's go ahead. Yes, of course we are. This is the uh, Islamic State. We're going to have to go ahead and attack Mosul with everything we have. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to send mercenaries in there as well. And it's okay, if we make some enemies, it, I don't mind one bit, as long as those enemies are um, the Islamic State here. I'm also going to attack that base camp that we saw near our other territory. But if we can take Mosul, uh, that would be an incredible victory. We don't seem to have any real tanks. We don't have a lot to work with here. But we can always ask some other countries for support. Whether or not they're actually going to give it to us, we don't actually know. We're going to have to see. ISIS probably has this area really well defended. Um, but if we took this, this would be a perfect new capital for us. Of course, we need to de-radicalize it, but that can be done over time. Armed extremists, don't mind if I do. And actually, some of these armed extremists I want to send across over here to uh, take Raqqa. Uh, which is another one of the capitals of ISIS. So we're going to go ahead and actually send a lot of our troops over to Raqqa as well. We have to cross the river over here uh, to get there, and that's definitely going to cost us some penalties. We've also got some mercenaries here. Wonderful. Always love to have some mercenaries in the army and some armored pickup trucks to attack these terrorists. We're doing everything here at once because I want to make sure that these operations happen quickly. And I'm going to have to send these... Uh, these particular infantry over here to Mosul. We might have to share the city with uh, Bashar al-Assad because he's actually controlling the northern part of the city. And if he breaks in before we get there, we're going to have a very complex situation to say the least. All right, let's go ahead. To war, boys, to war. 
Now, before we go to war right away, first of all, we want to send more guys over here because we still have plenty. But secondly, I want to attack that base over here on the left side. It's just way too close to our forces, and I don't like it. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to attack into Harem. It's right there on the border with Turkey, so the Turks might get upset with us. They hate us. They absolutely hate us. So uh, we're going to try to just get in and get out. And being on the border with Turkey is not going to be a great thing, but maybe it'll make Turkey give us some concessions. Who knows? I highly doubt that. All right, let's continue. Some pickup trucks, armored pickup trucks. And we're going to go ahead and continue. Let's go, Kurdistan! All right, guys, we are going right outside of this ISIS camp. It's going to be well defended without a doubt. But I'm confident we can take it. Ooh! Holy crap! Okay. It's gonna be a fight for sure. Uh, I wanna make sure that we have sent everybody we can. Send some more armored pickup trucks in here. I don't like leaving these camps unattended, but... Taking these uh, these enemy camps is absolutely essential to getting a victory. Confirm the attack. Our men do not want to go into this town. They're gonna go. Must free the town from these terrorists. All right, here we go. Now we've got a battle going on. In fact, we've got a few battles going on. I'm just going to take a look over here at the forces. And uh, right now, I'll just give you guys a look at the enemy forces that we're facing. The military HQ of Dash ISIS. Um, we're going to have to break through. And the only way to do that is going to be to get as many of our uh, military over here and in here as possible. So I'm already getting some of our troops in there. We want to bring even more if we can. This is going to be a true fight for each and every bit of territory, my friends. Let's take a look over here. We must have reached one of those locations. I don't know if we reached Raqqa. We did reach Raqqa. And like I said, this is an ISIS stronghold, guys. Right now, I'm just waiting for our men to actually get into position here. Let's take a look. Our balance is not very good at all. We've got to get more units in this city. Going straight for Raqqa. And a number of different uh, battles here are taking place between, uh, well, this is once again just us. I'm trying to see if we have any more units here that we can bring to the battle. We do have a lot of armed extremists there, but we're all going here to Raqqa, and I think that's really my main point of attack. I'm, I'm more concerned with Raqqa. Or, excuse me, not Raqqa. I keep getting these towns confused. Um, Mosul. So we're going to go ahead and go into Mosul. Come on, boys, get in there. We need everyone we can get. As soon as this battle begins, I will start uh, taking over, and I might even control the units myself here. If we could liberate Mosul from these terrorists, we would do everybody a favor. I'm sure they're going to appreciate that. Attack in Mosul! Kill ISIS! Alright, we're definitely going to take a look here very soon. I just want to make sure that everybody has... Uh, Gotten into the city. Okay, so we already have a few attackers up here. In fact, we could probably get this started, guys, and do pretty damn well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the attack here. It looks like we've got some Daesh fighters over here guarding the bank. So that's the first place we're going to go with our uh, army. I'm also going to take these units and try to meet up at the bank with this part of our army. 
bring these guys in and meet up at this side over here and basically just surround these guys and finish these guys off no prisoners whatsoever attack boys we'll actually let you guys see the action although i admit that the pixels in this game are not too special i still like to see those isis flags getting destroyed there we go recapture the bank for kurdistan keep it up keep it up all right don't worry we've got reinforcements on the way these daesh fighters are vicious they're not going to let us survive if we don't kill them quickly. Okay, more fighters just arrived, guys. Bad ground. Let's take a look over here. We've got more fighters also coming to the town square here. And uh, the only issue is going to be the main HQ. We're going to need to have a lot to take out this main HQ. This is a terrorist stronghold. Um, so obviously taking it out is going to be very, very important. Fire, fire, fire. These guys don't care if they give up their lives. They just want to go ahead and kill us at any cost. We're going to go ahead and go to normal speed now, guys. Definitely don't want to sound the retreat. Once we get to the battle for the main square, we will go ahead and uh, take a look. We might not win here. I mean, this is a very rough battle, and we're actually using a lot of resources. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Attack, boys, attack. Take the main square. Go, go, go. I'm going to wait for them to come to us. This is like a tower defense game now. Fire, 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 fire. As long as we can seriously damage ISIS, we're doing someone a service, but it's not good enough to win. And right now, I don't think we can win. We've got some more guys. We're going to bring them into the market square. And right now, I'm going to pause so I can take a look at the map really quickly. Um, because we need to keep sending guys in. If we're going to keep this attack going and if we're going to win, we can't just stop here. So I'm going to take some more pickup trucks. We've committed to this town. We've got to keep going. Hope that Mosul is within our grasp. So we're already quickly running out of uh, forces over here. Let's take a look and see if we took this camp. So it looks like we did take the camp. Um, no, we did not take the camp, but our men are approaching the camp once again. So I guess they're going in for the second run. Um, we already have quite a few men in the camp here, so I'm going to take a look and see if we can take them out. Uh, just by going ahead and destroying the rest of them, and I think we pretty much can. So let's go ahead, bring these guys in, and for once, take out a Daesh camp. We're going to go ahead and attack over here. Bring these guys from the north and attack over here. We can even fast forward this a little bit. And I don't, I don't even think that this is going to be very melodramatic. They're not even going to let us take the government building. They're just going to give up. Is that it? I think it is. All right, guys, let's take a look at the newspaper. Let us know what's kind of going on in the country. Take a look here at some details. So we've killed 1,039 um, Daesh fighters. They've killed 549 of our own. Uh, I want to see what's going on in the town, because I don't see any more Daesh fighters at all. But there could be some hiding out still in, in one location or other that we're not spotting. I'm going to continue here, because this should be a victory. There we go, military HQ. Get to the government building. We're going to pause, and let's take a look at the newspaper. We did not read the newspaper yet. Syrian Islamic Resistance, Army Syrian Conflict, the Rebels Retreat. Okay, so that's good for us, or is it? We're fighting, well, we're not really fighting with the rebels or against the rebels. We're fighting against a certain kind of rebel. And right now, actually, we might be fighting the other rebels. I hope not. These guys are also fighting Daesh with us, but they could turn on us. We have, we have no idea what's going to happen. They're sort of the uh, moderate rebels, as they like to call them. All right, Haran should be ours. We've taken everything here. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and jump over here and see what's going on. 
I don't know if Raqqa is, is going to be an area we can take. So Raqqa is totally empty at this point. Just going to get into regional parliament of Raqqa. That might be the key here. All right, we looted the Bank of Raqqa. It has zero dollars in it, obviously. Um, not really much there. All right, so there are definitely still a few fighters in all these areas. Uh, this might be the issue with the other... Look at that. The other city. Okay, there we go, guys. We've taken Raqqa. Beautiful. So this is our first capture, um, is the city of Raqqa. This is, of course, no longer going to be a terrorist stronghold. Um, but we've still got a lot of fighting to do over here in the west. And, of course, a major amount of fighting to do for Mosul. And I hope we can still break through here. We'll take a look at the front lines of Mosul and uh, what's going on. We've got a lot of armed extremists in here, but we really need to get some more troops in here. Um, anything we can send at this point. So I'm going to send mercenaries, just whatever we've got. Because the enemy right now definitely, definitely, definitely outnumbers us. Come on. Wish you would stop asking me to confirm. I could turn that off, but then I'm gonna, not going to know if I'm attacking an ally, so I'll be careful. And actually, it looks like we have a... This is not good. We've got a situation with Daesh fighters right here um, near our front bases, near our front lines. So this is what we get for helping out our friends. We might go ahead and have to hit this Daesh base, and let's hope that we survive. I don't know how long we're going to survive. We've got a few armed extremists here, more than a few. Uh, I'm going to send them to attack Daesh with everything here we have. These trained mercenaries should also help us do the trick, but I'm not sure if we could take Mosul. Maybe it's better that we retreat and save our men. I'll let you guys decide, and uh, we'll continue this battle next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and death to Daesh!